some trail thoughts. Walking around Port Alberni. And I've just passed the big mural of the Mars, Martin Mars water bomber. And of course, this is a topic of conversation right now that, uh, <laughs> number one, they're out again. Uh, the Hawaii Mars is on the water in Sprout Lake, and people are very excited about that and getting out to see it and take pictures and video. And, uh, you know, it's been a while since uh, we've seen them. But it's a sad day because we're not going to see them for long. They are going away. That's why they're out on the water, is getting prepared to leave. Now, I, I love the Mars Bombers. I mean, I have uh, loved them before I came here. I uh, knew about these flying boats, um, you know, originally uh, from the Second World War, uh, designed as troop transports or, or cargo uh, carriers, um, and then purchased, brought here, refitted as, as water bombers, could pick up 29 tons of water in 27 seconds and dump it on a fire. Um, you know, just terrific stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, like I say, I loved them before, before I even got here. Um, I lived in North Van occasionally, and we'd see them flying over on their way to, uh, a fire in the interior and uh, that was always a bit of a thrill uh, at any rate um, well as I say you know they're they're gonna go uh, one is going to uh, the museum in Sydney and another is going to a museum I believe in Arizona uh, and so, um, that will be sad for uh, many people who love them. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, for the town of Port Alberni, I think we're going to have a collective identity crisis when they leave. Because they're just so much a part of the town. Uh, we have, uh, uh, well, you know, I mentioned the one big one, but uh, they are on at least three of the... Uh, murals, the collection of murals uh, here in town and uh, they are uh, uh, there are models uh, mostly wooden models uh, that people have stuck on poles or on fences or buildings what have you so um, there are you know they, they're a part of the town they, the juniorer of the hockey teams is called the Bombers. Uh, it's just, you know, it's it's really uh, part of the town here. It, it's part of the advertising, uh, telephone book covers, uh, uh, you know, lots, lots of things. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be sad. And like I say, it's going to be really sad for the, the town as a whole. Uh, um, you know, certainly... Uh, they are going to be remembered and, and there are going to be references to them for quite a while, many years to come uh, because of the length of time that they've been here. So, why talk about the Mars Bombers? Well, life changes. Life can change very suddenly. Believe me, I know this more than most. Uh, we are not, at least not yet, granted permanence of anything. And uh, a lot of people thought that they were a permanent fixture. Well, apparently they're not. And change, well, <laughs> hey, for us bereaved, uh, Change is bad, period. Uh, you know, we've had the biggest changes, so, and, and it's bad. 
Well, then again, it's not necessarily all bad. Um, even in the loss of the primary relationship in your life, that gives you something eventually if you can see it, if you can accept that there is something of benefit. I mean, it's horrible. It really is horrible. I, you know, just as soon not do it. But uh, it gives you gifts. Even, even the worst changes give you gifts. And so... Yeah, here, we have a gift. I, I can remember when, when Gloria died, uh, one of my friends, good friend, um, who has known grief himself, and a lot of it, and he said, now you have an opportunity to reinvent your life. And of course, my immediate reaction was, thanks, I'll pass on the opportunity, but that ship had sailed, and I knew what he meant. Um, and that is, I suppose, the point that I am trying to make. Uh, even, even the worst changes give us gifts, if we will but accept them. And uh, yeah, certainly, the Mars bombers leaving is not the worst thing that has ever happened to Port Alberni. Uh, there will be gifts. Look for them. Keep your eyes open. Be aware. Don't just sit and mope because things have changed and you like them the way they were. Look for the new gifts.